Do you need extra space but don't want to pay for an external monitor? Your iPad has the answer, and that answer is Air Display. The first thing you need to do is go to the Avatron website. You can click on the link in the description below, or you can go to the website at avatron.com forward slash apps forward slash air dash display. Once on the website, you'll see the Avatron logo and all of their different apps that they make. However, we're going to be using the air display. Air display you can use on your iPhone, iPod touch, or iPad. However, I'm going to be using it on my iPad. So first off, make sure you scroll down all the way to the bottom and click on the downloads that works for your computer. This will work for a Mac that's 10.5.8 or above or for Windows computers. The next thing you need to do is make sure you go into iTunes and you're going to go ahead and search for Air Display. Go ahead and click enter. Then this will pop up and you can download it for your iPhone or your iPad. The app is a little pricey at $9.99 but however its functions way outweigh its price. Okay, so once you've downloaded the app, go ahead and open up Air Display. It will go ahead and give you some information about Air Display, and you can see that it gives you your install steps, and you can also choose your operating system. So right now it's set on Mac, and we'll change it to Windows. And you see that it will give you separate options for each. You can see there's all different types of things, including Connect, on how to connect to Air Display, a mouse, which is a tutorial video, and Help. Once the app is installed on your iPad and you've installed the app on your computer, you do need to go up to the top right hand corner of your computer to where you see these little screens. You can see there are two of them and one looks like an iPad and one looks like a computer. Make sure you click it and then you can see all of your different air display settings. Let's just turn air display off, disable auto connect, and then you can see this is where you will click your iPad it can see that it is registered my iPad and so I am going to go ahead and click Ian's iPad. Okay so once you go ahead and select your iPad you will have to wait just a couple seconds and then your screens on both your Mac and your or PC and your iPad will then flash blue. Now you can see that my desktop wallpaper has now appeared on my iPad so you can see that you can reach out and you can touch it and it does move your mouse from your Mac or your PC over to your iPad and it's fully custom, it's fully touchable and it's fully you can use it and you can also use your mouse when you're using your iPad as well now I'm gonna go ahead and open up one of my windows let's see here let's open up iTunes okay so now we open up iTunes and we can see that iTunes is now open and so what we'll go ahead and do is we'll take iTunes We'll take it and we'll drag it to the right. It comes defaulted where it will drag to the right. And as you can see, now I've dragged to the right and my iPad has now appeared with iTunes on it. And this you can change around the settings of Air Display, obviously. And you can also change around the different kinds of settings and stuff where, where you can even put change where your iPad's gonna be. And you can see you can reach out and you can touch it and it works great. If you want something that's fully customizable with a second screen that uses your iPad with your Mac or your PC, Air Display is definitely the way to go. I would give it 9 out of 10 stars. If you enjoyed this video and helped you out, please comment, like, and subscribe. I'm Ian Webb for TRG. Have a great day.